The OnePlus 7T is one of the first phones to ship with the latest Android 10 update. And as such, the device packs in a bunch of amazing new features. But while OnePlus has added a couple of additional features in Oxygen OS 10, you'd still need to download a couple of essential apps if you wish to use your phone to the fullest. So if you're planning on getting a OnePlus 7T or have got one already, then this video is for you. Hey guys, this is Abhijit from Guiding Tech and let's take a look at a couple of apps that you must download on your new phone. Now, if you've ever seen one of our app recommendation videos before, you would know that there are two apps that I suggest for just about every phone out there. And those remain the same here as well. Snapseed and SMS Organizer are two amazing apps that I install on pretty much every Android phone that I test. And if you haven't tried them out already, then you should download them right away. While most of you would already be familiar with the apps, here's a brief look at what these apps do. Snapseed is a powerful image editing app from Google that packs in pretty much all the tools you'll need to take your photos to the next level. Right from a couple of amazing preset filters to more advanced editing features like spot healing, this app has it all. Sure, it's a bit complicated to use, especially for beginners, so we have got a bunch of helpful articles on our website that you can check out to get started. Head over to guidingtech.com and search for Snapseed or you can click in the description down below. Next, there's Microsoft's SMS Organizer, which as the name suggests, helps you organize all your incoming messages to make your inbox clutter-free. The app categorizes all messages using machine learning and sorts them into separate tabs. Personal messages go to the personal tab, transactional updates go to the transactions tab, and all the remaining promotional spam goes to the promotions tab. And the best part is that the app doesn't notify you for these spam messages, so you can be sure that you won't get distracted by all those SMS alerts. Now that we have got these two apps out of the way, let's take a look at some other apps that you should get on your new OnePlus 70. One of the best things about the OnePlus 70 is its beautiful 90Hz display and the best way to make the most of it is by watching movies or TV shows on your phone. But sadly, the stock video player on the OnePlus 70 leaves a lot to be desired. Which is why you should get KM Player, which is an amazing app that includes support for almost all popular video and audio formats out there. With it, you'll be able to enjoy 4K HDR videos on your phone without any hiccups. Additionally, the app also includes support for subtitles and it packs in a bunch of other handy features like speed control, night mode, and even the option to stream videos directly from the internet. There's just one catch. If you want to play 4K videos, you'll need to download a Kodak for the same. Don't worry, we have linked to it in the description down below. If you're not big on watching videos on your phone and use it as your primary music player instead, then you should check out the Pi Music Player app. It's one of the best new offline music players on the Play Store right now, and I'm sure you'll fall in love with it once you start using it. The app has a very minimal user interface with fluid animations, and it includes support for almost all popular audio formats. On top of that, the app also lets you create ringtones using offline music files, and in case you wish to stream songs directly from YouTube, then you can do that as well. Enough about media consumption, let's talk about KineMaster now, a handy app that you can use to edit your own videos. After all, creation is better than consumption, right? Now this app brings an almost professional-grade video editor in the palm of your hands with advanced features like layer-based editing, special effects, a bunch of editing tools, and a lot more. It's the only app you'll need if you want to edit videos on your phone, but it might be a bit too advanced for beginners. If you feel that it's overwhelming, you can also try out Ucut or Quick instead, which also offer a bunch of great features and are much easier to use. Now, if you want to get some work done on your phone while you're on the go, then you should get the WPS Office Suite. It's one of the best alternatives to Microsoft Office apps on Android and it packs in almost everything you'll need to get some work done. With the app, you'll be able to create and edit Word documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and even PDF files, which makes it a must-have for pretty much all business users or office goers. The app includes support for all Office file formats, which means that you won't face any compatibility issues when you transition from your phone to your PC. Next up, there's the OH or the O browser, which is arguably better than Chrome, especially on large screen devices that are difficult to use with just one hand. The app is designed in a way that all of its UI elements are close to the bottom edge of the screen, unlike Chrome, which still has them up at the top. This means that you'll be able to reach the address bar and all the buttons quite easily. 
Moving on, there's SwiftKey, another one of my go-to apps for any device I use. While a lot of users swear by Gboard, I'm a huge fan of SwiftKey and the amazing customization features the keyboard app offers. The app allows you to change the size of the keyboard, adjust the layout, use a bunch of different themes and even create some with your own photos in the background. It includes support for swipe gestures and its AI-powered predictions are just top-notch. Rounding things off is the AMOLED Wallpapers app which offers a vast repository of dark wallpapers that not only look great but also help you save some precious battery life. You see AMOLED display don't illuminate pixels with wherever there's black on the screen so that helps reduce battery consumption by up to 15%. Pretty cool right? And that sums it up for this video. Make sure you check out all the apps from the links in the description down below. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like button if you liked some of the apps listed here. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.